like court enforcement agents, we've got high court there. I'd like to sort it out face to face. Debts of over £12 billion pounds are owed to people across the UK. £1,200 and never got it back. And many of them struggle to get paid what they're due. It now looks like she's avoiding to deal with this matter. When all other attempts to settle a debt have failed... Okay, so new job. Specialist enforcement agents are called in to recover what's owed. Your time of expiry has come. Armed with a high court writ... All checking desks are going to be closed until this matter's resolved. The agents have the authority... If you think we're doing something illegal, call the police. Expertise... Everyone can be found. We're easy. And the backup... We've made contact. We know they're there. To settle debts that no one else can. Our agents used as a last chance saloon. They take payments in cash. £6,200. Or seize and sell possessions. The car has been taken to control of. I need to get one. To finally get the debt paid. This is 70 grand here. <laughs> in these unprecedented times, Agents are busier than ever. Ooh, me? But the challenge to recover the money from those that won't pay... Doesn't need to be this difficult, does it? No, well, I think it will be this one. ...has never... Sam, don't touch me! ...been greater. He's going to call his brothers. I don't think it's to pay. Enforcement agents with high court writs... Right. Ready? Yeah. ...are on the front line of debt recovery in the UK. A lot of people are like, how can you do your job? Hello there, can you come to the door, please? I turn it around on them. If you are owed money, how are you going to get your money back? Hi there, uh, do you do deliveries? If we come to the shop, can we buy a pizza? Perfect, thank you. Today, Agents Mark and Virgil are looking to settle a debt owed by a restaurant. Pineapples and no pineapple. That's Come on, that's pizza. wrong pineapple on pizza. The business owes nearly £3,000 to a company that supplies mozzarella cheese. We've always had a number of cases for unpaid supplies. If it's a smaller business, they don't get the money in, how can they pay their bills? When we get payment in full for them, they, they are so grateful. Come on. A high court writ gives agents the authority to use reasonable force to gain entry to commercial premises. Okay, you in the door quickly. Hello. Hi there. My name is Virgil. I'm a high court enforcement agent. Can you get the manager over on the phone, please? Just so you a chef working at the restaurant gets someone he says is called Martino on the phone. Hi there, we have a high court writ uh, for, uh, for your restaurant, sir. What is the name of the restaurant? It's Passion and Tradizione no, by Anima Cuore. No, I, 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 we just kept the name. The, the company is in this one, you know? Virgil asks if the man knows the mozzarella company. Uh, no, no, not really. They provide uh, cheese for you, sir. No, no, no. Although he is trading under the name of the restaurant on the High Court writ, the man claims the actual business who owes the money no longer exists. Okay. But Virgil needs to see proof that the man is not connected to the debt. Can you send us the business rates, please, and the lease agreement? If you want, I can, I can send you everything for tomorrow. No, it needs to be now, sir, because uh, we have a writ issued by the High Court. No, I never received anything. The court, sir. sir, there's a bill outstanding of £2,207.97p. No, if we don't receive any evidence that we talked about, or if this bill is not paid in the next 20 minutes, we will have to remove items. There is no way. You can go against me and touch anything there. Send me some uh, document, and then we'll talk. Uh, up until then, I can do my job, OK? If the agents find enough evidence to believe that the man running the restaurant is responsible for the debt, they could seize assets to help recover what's owed. Found loads of paperwork suggesting the company is here. He's kept the name, and it's all different companies, so it's trading as so and so. But basically, he's just keep rolling the company, trying building up debts, putting another company. The paperwork shows someone called Mustafa is connected to the company liable for the debt. 
and Virgil has suspicions about the true identity of Martino. The chef gave me on the phone a chap named Martino, but on his phone it said Mustafa. Basically, Martino is supposed to be the new owner, and Mustafa is the old one, but I'm 99% sure it's the same. We found letters opened, and his statement hasn't received it, so I think now he tells us, take a pinch of salt. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. What's your name, sir? Martino. Okay, but over here on this phone, I have Mustafa. And Mustafa is the director. Yeah, that is not me. Yeah, no, I think it's you. Hi, I'm telling you that is not me. Mustafa! Hmm. I'm saying the new letter, okay. Uh, Mr. Martino. Tell me. You said that you have no letters from us. There is any letter there? Yes, there are. There is a letter from us. And it's exactly the matter that we are here about. Okay. Uh, so you don't know what's it about, sir. Okay. So can this get paid at two thousand two hundred and zero seven? Okay, sir. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. With no offer of payment, the agents start to look for goods they might be able to remove. That thing yeah. is worth three and a half grand. Pizza oven's worth something as well. Then someone calls back. Why don't you two and try and raise some funds? Otherwise, we're going to have to start removing assets. Remove whatever, remove whatever. Okay, go, 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 I. Okay, thank you. Because you're just stealing. Listen, I'm not stealing. I'm a hard cutting force agent with a high cut. You're just stealing because it's nothing to do with me. The only reason I'm here is because you haven't paid your cheese bill. 58,000. £405. When agents set forth to recover money somebody's owed... Now, do you have the facility to get this paid, sir? They will encounter people who aren't able to pay. It's quite a lot of money, isn't it? It's like £33,000. Yeah. When they do, sometimes they help set up payment plans. What can you realistically pay each week or month? So long as these are stuck to, everyone benefits. Do you work with us, we can work with you. KC and Alex have been working with a mother and daughter who owe over £5,000 in unpaid rent from a previous address. Southampton. Southampton. The agents managed to negotiate an agreement for them to pay back the money in instalments of £100 a month. But the payments have stopped, and so have the calls. They keep on um, defaulting, and then you ring them, and they never ring back. It's just an yeah. absolute nightmare. So today, they plan to up the ante. Go. We're uh, clamping the vehicle because we know it's the owners. Hi, Bubba. How are you? Nice to meet you. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hello. The mother and daughter appear. You know us. We're here to talk to you about the, what's going on with the debt. So in regards to this, the outstanding debt is missed too many times. We've had to come up again for the third time now to try to get the payment. The car has been taken control of. Oh, well, because I need to yes. work. My God, that's not. There's too, many, there's too many missed payments. Okay. Let's go somewhere. Right. If somebody dare you had just cold, you know, that's what we kept telling you. Just don't bury your head in the sand. Just talk to me. Do you know what I mean? So now they expect us to go in and look to remove goods. We've been trained to look for the vulnerability in people and, and, and actually go to their house and see what it is we could do to help them more than, um, you know, looking around and trying to take things that are important to them. I'll show you my payslip right now. Okay. What's going on? We try to kind of figure out what we can do so they don't find themselves even even in deeper and deeper debt. In relation to this, because we've had no contact with you, that's why they've told us to come and take the car away. Okay, that's why it's happened. Two payments of a hundred pounds were made, but then they stopped. Two times we pay yeah. everything. Why is it again? Again? Because you have to pay the whole amount, but we yeah, pay it monthly. See, we left another letter said, please just call us. I didn't actually see that to be fair. Okay, but we did leave I've it. I've got no credit on my phone, so okay. I'm calling you on. I'm working six days a week. Yeah. I've only yeah. got we always said, we always said, said call us. We always said call us, collect. No matter what, we would we would talk to you. Well, I can't pay you anything today anyway. It's Thursday. Right. 
the way they're looking at it now is they want it all, or they're going to have us look to move the car, take okay, goods in the house. The I know you can't day. work. I know, I understand that. So I think empathy is a big thing and realizing who needs help, who doesn't, where we can help them and where we can't. And I think keeping it equal helps for everybody. I haven't done anything today. Like yeah, but do you know what you do? Do you know what you do? One of you ring us and say, "There's no pay slip." None of us got actually any credit on our phones. If you don't, if you don't tell me, what am I supposed to do? I can't do anything to help you, can I? But just one, one little message from anyone says, um, "We know that we owe the money, we miss the payment. This, we, we've got a problem. Can you call us? And we'll call you, and we'll, we will sort it out." It's clear the women won't be able to pay the debt in full today. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. Well, we have to figure out what we're going to do with them because they've got both showing us their accounts. There's nothing in it. She's worked well, 30 how much hours. Have they got? Nothing. But the agents still have a responsibility to the person who's owed the money to look at every possible option. It can it can be tough sometimes when uh, when you see how it how it affects people. But at the end of the day, someone's owed the money. The mother is uh, really angry because it's a car she used to get to work. And of course, if they can't get to work and they can't earn money, then they can't pay the, the debt anyway. So it's a bit of a catch-22 situation. They just simply don't have, you know, excess funds available to pay a debt of, of more than five and a half grand. Yeah, it's a difficult case. Coming up. I can't let anyone in the shop. I don't know who you are, do I? Clearing up an identity crisis. Who is it? I've missed the phone. But putting a name to a face. Are you the only one in the property? Can't answer that either. Is a tough challenge for Casey and Alex. Why are you being so difficult, mate? There's been two payments. So oh, now okay, so, so now it's down to five, six, six, six five. Yeah. Yeah. Alex and Casey are trying to help a mother and daughter get on top of a debt they're struggling to pay. How much can we raise now? Yeah. yeah. The show is five pounds. Yeah, she's got five pounds. The issue with this, um, with this family is that they actually don't have any money. Sometimes you're standing in front of someone who, who owes 5,000 pounds and they are perhaps struggling for money. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. You then got to look at how best to resolve it because if you don't try and resolve it, the person who's owed the money ends up out of pocket, so it's a difficult one. As we've just explained to them, if you don't do anything about it, then this is what happens. And what they've done is, instead of contacting us to say, I'm struggling, I haven't got the money, I've only got 20 quid, they've done nothing. Is there a day that you might be able to come up with some money? Like, to catch up, even if it's 100 quid? When somebody owes money, it doesn't necessarily mean that they can afford to pay that money. Is there... today. Okay, that's fine. Tomorrow she gets paid. What? So is there anything that we can do tomorrow then? If we can help them figure out a, a way, a pathway that they can go towards to get themselves out of debt is the best way to help somebody, I think. We're willing to give you one more chance, but that's all we can do. They'll pay you a hundred tomorrow. And... That's fine. Can we do you a deal? If you remain in communication with us, okay, we'll, we'll quite happily carry on with an arrangement. So tomorrow you can pay a hundred. With an agreement to get the payment plan back on track, the car stays put. Okay, so we've agreed. We're going to continue trying to keep you on this hundred pounds, right? All right, we'll see you then. See yeah. you later. Speak to you tomorrow. I know where you live, right? So, no, see, you love me. <laughs> you love me every time. That's what I'm saying. See, thank you. Thank you. Oh, well, that was fun. I feel that like they needed time, and that's why we've continued to give them more and more time to, to try to pay it off. If this doesn't get paid, we will come back and we've given them the notice that it'll be the full force of the action. They don't muck around, do they? It's good that we eat, because otherwise we, we would order the pizza. Agents Virgil and Mark are at a pizza restaurant, gathering evidence that connects the business operating there to a mozzarella supplier who hasn't been paid. Oh, I'm impressed, this is good. So in the dough. They've been told the company responsible for the debt no longer exists. And although they're operating under the same name, the manager says they know nothing about the outstanding bill. Oh my God. Check what I found. Whoa. Oh, come on. 
I do not deal with oh. PVC. Let me have a look at them. That is gold. Oh, brilliant. This is the county court claim that we hear about. Makes him a liar. It makes the job worth it, you know? Cops and robbers, cops and robbers. That's gold, absolute gold. Hello, I'm speaking with my lawyer. But the person they've been told is the manager is still claiming he's not responsible. The case has been heard. But All the right? case has been heard, but it needs to be adjourned because it has nothing to do with me. You said that you haven't received the paperwork and we've actually found the paperwork. The man says he'll come to the restaurant to deal with them face to face. The main person is en route. He'll come in puffing his chest up as normal. Half an hour later... Hello. Hello, sir. Hi. Hello. Who are you? Um, Who are you? I can't let anyone in the shop. I don't know who you are, do I? No. I, no, you don't need to see. Who is it? Uh, Mustafa. Mustafa. You see Mustafa? Mustafa? Are we speaking to you on the phone, yeah? No. My, you spoke with my colleague. Is this Mustafa? Yeah. Come here. The agents have found paperwork connected to the business that owes the money with the name Mustafa written on it. Sir. They show him the correspondence relating to the debt. Yeah. Okay. So this is the hard part. Okay. This is a scammer. Who? This guy. But he maintains he knows nothing about it. So don't come here. Yeah, but you, you do receive a lot of correspondence here in your name. Did you see the things open? Yeah. There's a lot of things open with your name. To pay the debt off, the agents can seize and sell assets they believe are the property of a business that owes the money. Okay, machine, 9,135. Right, Who's the, who, who does this account belong to? Me. Mark and Virgil send all their evidence to the office and request the green light to proceed. Uh, for me, when I remove, I gotta feel comfortable going in front of a judge. As long as I have that, I got no problem. He's showed me his bank account, showing the money going out from his bank account for a few uh, machines, a few purchases. He said he can get the invoices. So I'm just waiting for a call to see what the score is. I showed them that all the machine is belong to the company and it's nothing to do with me. I showed them the invoices, my lease agreement and everything, and I don't have no issues. And I'm completely right. The agents wait outside for a decision from the High Court Enforcement Officer in charge. They need to do further investigation because they don't have, they didn't investigate properly. But I'm telling you, this invoice that they are saying 1,000 something pounds, uh, there is nothing to do with me. Enforcement agents know that asking people for money can provoke all sorts of reactions. Can I have a word with you? Let's end this. Surely you want to end this. Some cases are resolved quickly. £2,204.50 has landed in our account. Another satisfied customer. Others take a lot more effort. He's definitely been a very naughty boy, this one. It's very rare we'll meet somebody, knock on the door, and they'll tell you, OK, mate, I'll pay you the money. Very rare. Everybody will try. This guy has annoyed me more than yeah. anyone else in the years I've been doing this job. Casey and Alex are trying to resolve a case involving a substantial debt owed to a lawyer. But so far, their attempts have been unsuccessful. He not only has evaded us, he has Purposely. called the police yeah, to claim that not only are we harassing him, but we yeah. are attempting to break into his property. <laughs> so he's basically tried everything he possibly can in to order evade. to get rid of us. Little does he know that that is completely the opposite of what will happen. Yeah. Today, if they can't secure payment... Just one, right? Mm -hmm. They will look to seize assets in order to get the bill paid. Hello, sir. Can you come downstairs, please? Just seeing you in the window. Hello. Can you come to the door, please? Just need a quick word, sir. Do you want to open the window and speak to me? I mean, that'd be easier. At least face to face would be a little bit better. As Casey can only discuss a case with the person named on the High Court writ, the first thing she must do is confirm the man's identity. 
I'm only here to help you. Well, if you can't answer it, then I can't talk about it, mate. Are you the only one in the property? I can't answer that either. Like, why are you being so difficult, mate? Can you just talk to me, like, person? Because if not, this is just a waste of time. Okay, perfect. Right, so Alex, he's not going to tell me who he is. Oh, uh, we'll take his car. He doesn't right want to speak to him. We'll take his car. That's fine. Thank you, sir. He's saying he can't tell me who he is, so you know it's him. So at this point, there's nothing else we can do but to take control of any of his goods. He drives a black Porsche Cayenne. If the agents can find property they believe belongs to the person who owes the money, they can seize it to help clear what's owed. You have to be a good investigator. You have to be able to, you know, look outside the box. But there's no sign of the Porsche outside his house. Let's go and scoot around so we can find right. the car. All right. Now they just need to find it. In North London, there's news for Mark and Virgil. They have reviewed all of this, and she's more than happy for us to continue. Although the manager claims he is not liable for the debt, the office has looked at the evidence and instructed the agents to proceed. If they want to fight in the courts later, by all means, they, they can give it a good oh, time. Oh, my my God. Okay. With the green light to seize property, the agents move in. We begin the authorization to empty this place now. Right? Because we have from a hardcore enforcement officer. Right. We need to come in again. Yep. Because right? it's commercial, we can force our way in. We don't. We don't want to do that. But, but where, where it is there? Listen, we've spoken to the hardcore enforcement officer. No, We're removing stuff thing, now. Right. Come on. We're coming in. One away. No way. Okay. Why do you need to pay some, some invoices of someone else? Have you been fired? Don't let me swear on you. If they need their day in court, they can pay and they can appeal afterwards. Good luck to them. Hey, why don't we just think clever, try and pay it? Never, ever, never, you understand? I prefer to take, that you take all the rest and close it down and I spend 30,000 pounds with court to win all of you. This is principle, you know, to call it principle. I spoke with the office and they got a bit more comprehensive information than us and we can justify them in court if, if it gets to that point. So Mustafa is the one they were looking for. Hello. The man's friend arrives. Before you can remove goods, you need to establish that you're removing goods from the correct place. Yeah, so before we reach the point of saying that this belongs to him and this belongs to him and this belongs to that person, so why are you here removing goods? Do you see from, what I mean? From my point, so you know, so it's, it's a bit complicated. It's, it's understand. For me, it's really simple. At this point, I am happy for me and my colleague to remove property from here. We often get people who think they know better than us. We just let them waffle for as long as they want. Then we explain to them exactly what the law is. The office calls back. What we want to do now is actually secure on site. So I ask everyone to leave. Um, I've already spoken to a locksmith. So obviously, if anyone's not going to leave, then just contact the police um, and ensure that they do leave the property. Yeah, well done. Do that now. At this point, uh, if it's not going to get paid, I need to officially ask you to please leave the premises. If you're not going to leave the premises, we will call the police and they will arrest you. So are you guys refusing to leave? Yes. Coming up. Hey, lovely. Gavin and Chris go behind closed doors. There's wood there. They locked me inside. Hello? Casey and Alex. What's that over there? They're on the prowl for a Porsche. Where are you going to park this car? And for Mark and Virgil. 3,500, I think, fuck it, buddy. There's still no sign of the dough. It's 3,500 plus the lock. Yeah, 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 you play Kiki. Agents Gavin and Chris are heading to the office of an airline. All right, so yeah, let's see if I let us here. They delivered a notice of enforcement two weeks ago. 
So someone's picked up our letters, but they've still refused to contact us to make payment. The agents have the authority to access the property, and as nobody's in, they call the locksmith. Hey, lovely. The company owes £4,000 in refunds to two of their customers. A lot as well? Yeah. By changing the locks, they can take control of the company's assets, which could be sold to pay off the debts. We want to make sure there's no one staying here because you'll be surprised how many times we've actually entered the property and it's a total commercial property. And then we find there's people actually staying in back rooms. First thing we're going to do is have a look around, see what the situation is here. They try to unlock the door that leads to the rest of the building. There's not as much assets as I'd like to see, um, but we don't know what's behind um, or if there's offices upstairs. Gavin makes a discovery. Assuming these are the staff and these are the numbers. Yeah, let's start giving them a call. Hello. We're actually inside Turkmenstein's Airlines office um, currently. If you can come to the office, that'd be fantastic. The woman they call soon arrives. So if we can speak to someone who's high up in there, is a small bit of money that needs to be paid. But say she has nothing to do with the airline. She's claiming that the company that we're looking for is different to the company that's actually using this space. She puts the agents in touch with their boss. When the airline has got two rooms on the first floor. He says the airline used the officers upstairs. So you've got the key for this main door to get the letters? I don't have any other key, sir. OK. There's no key for the door to upstairs. Hey, get on. But the woman has found the number for someone at the airline. His mobile, UK. I'll give him a quick call now. Please leave your message after the code. Just have to send a, a bit of a selfie of us in the office. That might jam up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but ten minutes later, there's no reply to Chris's voice message. So I think they're wasting our time now, so it's given us no choice now but to just go straight for the next door and start listing the items. But before the locksmith starts drilling the lock, the woman reappears. Hello. Uh, just let me try it. If I can find any spare keys, extra keys. That'd be brilliant, yeah. It's amazing how she just found, she knew where to find the key straight away, isn't it? But even with the key, the door won't budge. Almost feels like so. It's not a lock now, is it? It's like pushing behind. It's been jammed shut. Right, there might be someone here. Hello? There's wood there. It's been locked for me inside. Hello? Touch. Do you want to check that back door, make sure it's locked? Hello, anyone up here? Enforcement agent with a high court writ, is anyone here? Unbelievable. and Virgil have spent four hours at a pizza restaurant trying to settle an unpaid mozzarella bill. 3,500 is possible. You can't... It's not 3,500. It's 3,500 plus the bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're very picky on that. Uh... The agents have the authority to change the locks and to take control of goods if they believe they belong to a business responsible for the debt. Could we consider... Paying. If you want a symbolic things of thousand pound, I transfer you now, and then I will take the court. You understand the symbol? But four thousand five hundred, impossible because it will damage me. I got invoice to pay. And I cannot be without fun because someone else is trying to rob me, and you are trying to help them. So you're so telling you me you're will, you're willing to put that yeah. to put to put down one thousand, but you're not willing to put the amount needed because I don't have it. The locksmith arrives, Have you gone, but the agents give the man one last chance to pay. But the only thing that I can do to help you out is to ask you if it's going to be paid. If he pays the debt, the restaurant won't be locked up. And if he believes he has a case to dispute the debt, he can appeal it in court. All right, so what you say is for him, if he's going to pay today, it's yep. going to reduce the headache, the business being closed, and he wants to know how much. Pay the money now, 
everything that is owed. You go to court with all the evidence. A judge will see your side. He will then write an order or where the money is going to go. For this job, you need your patience. Just keep plodding along, keeping the momentum up, keeping the pressure, then eventually they will pay. Will you accept it? The full amount. I'm completely honest. Will you accept honest. 75%? No. It's gone past that. We know they're going to pay. They don't. We just got to be patient and it will come. Six hours after the day first arrived. Well, that's in. I just need your signature, that's all there. It's just a receipt. Payment is made in full. What he's decided to do is he's, he's cleared the amount, you know, to fight another day, basically, to come and to go back to them, claim back the amount that they've taken. But it didn't feel good because it felt unjust. Yeah. Don't take wrong, right? We're going to just pay off and I hope we don't see you two again, OK? Take care. They really thought we were bluffing, but we never bluff. Basically, it's hooking where the other guy's down quicker. I'll be honest with you, that pizza looked really good. At the beginning when we came, really good. That's proper dough, proper oven. Good quality cheese as well. Come on, let's get something to eat and go home. Although payment has been made, if an appeal is successful, the money will be returned. Agents Chris and Gavin are searching the offices of an airline. Hello, is anyone up there? The company has failed to settle debts of over £4,000 owed to two of its customers. So the agents are looking for assets that could clear the debt. Someone's actually put some um, wood behind the door to actually wedge it, which has given us an indication that someone's actually potentially still in the property. Um, uh, so I wouldn't be too surprised if there's someone upstairs now. Unbelievable. The last thing I want to do is secure the property and then later find there's actually someone locked in. They've tracked down a woman who works in the building. Do you want to be straight with me? Is there anyone sleeping upstairs? Because I'm worried about their safety. You don't have any idea. Sometimes, do you think someone might stay here every now and then? The sink is wet. So obviously someone has been here recently. The reason why I sound worried for their safety is because we need to secure this property and lock it all up. And I can't lock this property up if I believe there's someone upstairs. Because I can't lock them in, do you understand? Someone definitely is living here. Got fresh meat and fresh food. Some of the meal's not even out of date yet. Do you talk to anyone upstairs? You don't talk to anyone upstairs? No one's living here. I don't have this. You don't have all this food and nice little vibe here as well. The tap's been used. The lady's claiming outside that she doesn't know if anyone lives upstairs. As the building is shared by two businesses and with no word from the airline, Chris calls the boss of the other company back to see if he can shed any light. Hello. We can see it's a commercial property, but on the top floor, yes. there's people that live here. What, what's the situation okay. with them? It is a guest house. Like, when I come from India, uh, like, I use it for 10, 15 days when I'm there. You just basically sleep here occasionally. Is that what you're telling me? Absolutely correct. There's no one here with a tenancy agreement for upstairs separate to this contract? Right, OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to... There's a door um, uh, which separates where we believe people are staying. And we think actually someone's been staying there very recently. So we're going to change the lock on that door so they cannot enter the offices. So what that means is they can enter through the back door but not come through the main offices, OK? And hopefully it's a case of very shortly this gentleman's going to call me and close off the whole debt. With no word from the airline, it's looking increasingly likely that the debt will be covered by the sale of assets. Let's think logically. This is where you live. Where are you going to park this car? Where are you going to park this car? Alex and Casey are trying to recover a debt of over £19,000 from someone who has managed to elude them on a number of occasions. I've got a feeling he's probably parked it in one of the neighbouring streets. The man refuses to engage. 
There's a white hand turning. What's turn over there? there? They know he owns a Porsche, and they're trying to find it near his home. There it is. There it is. Found it. They got it. Go, go, go. Clap it. Clap it. <clears throat> At this point now, a vehicle sitting here that's, uh, you know, hidden, clearly hidden. It's nowhere near his house. It's a street over. Uh, I think we got him this time. OK, just to let you know, we've located your Porsche Cayenne. You've got about an hour and a half before the tow truck turns up to take it away. So it would be in your interest to come and speak to us. We'll be by the car. I already put the clamp on it. So now we immobilize it. I've just gone to the neighbor. Yeah. Uh, showed him the picture of the number plate in the car. He confirms that, that is, this is 100% his car. Perfect. I would like to take it away um, because this is the leverage now. It's worth 17,000 pounds at auction. Before we do move it, even though we want to remove it, we should speak to him again through the I'll show it through the letterbox, but he didn't respond. I don't think he likes you. But clamping his car has finally got his attention. Here we go. Hello. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Do you want to come over here and speak let's, to Let's have a chat, shall we? Rather than deal with it this way. Right, so are you... Who are you, sir, so we can discuss this? What, what what's, is it what's, to what's discuss? Your name? What's your name? What is there to discuss? Well, I need to know who you are so we can speak to you. Speak to me about you, what? What's your name, hon? What, tell speak me to me about what? About a high court rate, which involves a vehicle. So do you want to tell me what your name is and we can go from there? Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, we're very easy to work with yeah, mate, as long as you speak to us. I understand that you're upset about it, but we need to discuss it because it's not going yeah. away, is it? If we can speak to you and just work it out for a minute. So let's just be sensible about it and just have a chat about it, yeah? If you've got, like I said, two minutes, that's all we're going to do is talk to you in your house. He admits he's the person they've been looking for. OK, thank you. Because I, I just want to work it out with you, mate. I'm honestly I'm not here to fight on it. He says he's taken legal advice about disputing the debt. His explanation for not dealing with this is because a barrister has advised him not to speak to us, which is a rather ridiculous thing to do. The amount that's outstanding, 19,947. Okay. Don't know if you have that in your back pocket. No. Yeah. What they've done is they've just decided that the best option is to, to ignore us. And so this is now what's happened. He's claiming that an appeal has gone in to have this judgment set aside. We haven't been notified by that. And I'm just going to call the office now to check whether they have received anything because if they haven't, then he is going to have to make some kind of payment today. If there's no legal reason to stop the enforcement, the man could lose his Porsche today. Coming up. We've got the bike here, got the two computers. Chris and Gavin take stock. Toilet roll. That would have had some good value um, this time last year. <laughs> and it's crunch time for the Porsche owner. How much can you raise? Alex and Casey have clamped the Porsche. Should have entered the door first four times, didn't you? Yeah. They're trying to recover over £19,000. The man who owes the money says he's appealing the case. But Alex has looked into his claims. In November, a stay of execution was put on the case. In December, the stay was lifted. Right. And the instruction okay. is enforcement is to continue. Okay. So, and what about the So the bad news is okay. we come up with some kind of payment. That's what I said. No? How much can you raise? No, only about a thousand. Oh, 19,000. I know. I know. We'll, we'll, we'll try and get something in place for him. What we've offered him is a payment today of some description, release the vehicle, allow him to speak to his barrister to find out what's happening with the court case. We're going to offer him a 10% deal, which is just short of 2,000. I think that's reasonable. Now he's met us, he seems to be quite happy to work with us. So. And you never know, he might win. So if the judgment gets set aside, then whatever he pays today, he gets refunded anyway. So the minimum is 19.94 and 80 pence, basically. And then we could do, you said, 1,500. But you can round it up for two grand. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah, we have a deal. Yeah, we have a deal. OK, I'll take a picture. I need you to sign this, hon. Yeah. Sign your name right Done. there, right yeah, there. Yeah. Sign, sign your name in there, sweetie. Yeah? Good man. See how easy that was? 
It's not very many people aren't very happy to see us in the beginning. He went from, you know, not, not liking us in our profession and, and not agreeing to speaking to us because he'd been advised incorrectly. And now that he's actually spoken to us, he, he understands that we're, you know, normal human beings. We have normal characteristics. We have a job to do. You're all right, you know. I know I am. Seriously, shit. Good luck with the appeal. Yeah. We need to get on to our next one? Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Good. Got the bike here, got the two computers, got a lawnmower down there. Chris and Gavin are making a list of assets. That customer doesn't pay. To cover debts of over £4,000 owed by an airline to two of its customers. Toilet roll, that would have had some good value um, this time last year. <laughs> but finally... Hello, sir. Chris gets the call from the airline he's been waiting for. Yes, yes, Turkmenistan Airlines, yes. Fantastic, sir. In a nutshell, we've left some letters here before and we haven't got any response. We've now got a High Court writ to take control of goods and later sell them. Um, can we try and see if we can prevent this from happening? Uh, I cannot agree, you know, because we have the counter. Yeah, I tell you, I tell you. This is if you transfer, we transfer from abroad, from Turkmenistan. This is international transfers. Okay. This is take, uh, uh, I know, but minimum, minimum five days. Uh, this is minimum. Obviously, you must understand, we're not going to be staying here for that period of time, even though you do have beds upstairs, we've just seen. So what we're going to do for you, sir, I'm going to get those other doors, uh, those locks changed. We're going to secure the items on site, and then you can organise getting that paid. Once we receive the money, only at that time will we release those keys to either yourself or to um, one of your colleagues here, OK? Thank you. Cheers, bye. OK, yeah, let's get these locks changed. Two hours. And a few drilled locks later... Shop's now being taken control of now. Gavin and Chris have finally got someone's attention. All right. All right, we're done. We are. That's better. Ready to go? Excellent. All right, lovely. On to the next one. A few days later, the money was paid as promised, and the keys to the office handed back to the airline. Mark and Virgil spent six hours at a pizza restaurant attempting to recover over £2,000 for a mozzarella supplier. £2,207.97p. And and Payment was eventually made in full but the owner had said he would be appealing against the judgment. I prefer to spend 30,000 pounds with court to win all of you. This is principle. It's three weeks since their visit and Mark's had an update. After we left, they wanted a refund. The restaurant manager called the agent's office the day after their visit. So the office turned around and basically said, can you please put that in writing? What did they say? That's as far as it... Got. They didn't make a complaint? No complaint. Nothing really, nothing. They suggested they wanted one, but they couldn't write an email. With no appeal made, the debt was settled with the supplier. In this job, I see it as we are their last line to get the money back. Happy client as well. Yeah, happy client as well. We are their final line, and that's why we always go the extra mile for them. At the end of the day, this is what we do for a living. Next time, Chris and Gavin are pushed to the limits. We can quite easily look at taking your vehicle away. Trying to get a £2,000 bill paid for a building surveyor. That's what I'm saying. Can't, no, no, you can't get in the car. You can't tamper with goods in control. And Alex and Casey face aggression. I'm not talking to you. you know. And anger. If you want to talk to me, talk to me outside. As they try to recover over £12,000 for a debt to a local council. Get on with what you're going to share then. There's more Call the Bailiffs next Monday night at nine. And if you or someone you know has been affected by the issues raised tonight, channel5.com slash helplines has information and support.
Next tonight on Channel 5, we're heading for Barnsley's overstretched, under-resourced Casualty 24-7, where every second counts.